Well, good morning. So we are leaving the Helm Bay State Park in Oregon. We're about eight miles north of Tillamook. Yeah, I just realized I need to map this. Our goal is to get to Brookings, Oregon, at least, if not Eureka. Um, so my phone said it got down to 30. Um, the guy next to me said it was 37 in the campground. I believe the 37 because there was no frost. 300 miles to Brookings, Oregon. Six and a half hours, it says. Oh my gosh. Please proceed to the highlighted road. It's a long drive. <laughs> yeah, this is a super nice campground. In 200 feet, turn right. Turn right. Uh, well, let's check out the rest of the campground while we're here. So every single person in this loop is unreserved. It's a lot of people just showing up. So it's $39 a night to camp here. Which I thought was a little high, but it is a really nice campground. Um, I used the power last night, charged my stuff. uploading a video now with the truck Wi-Fi um, using my inverter oh there's a neat little airstream wood those people had back there for their fire but it smells like cherry or apple it smells really good in one quarter of a mile turn left In 400 feet, turn left. Uh, those people had a nice setup. They're um, definitely full-time RVers, nomads. Their entire inside their van was lined with shelves and stuff. Was... I'm kind of torn left. between like if I'm able someday to get a like a Ford Transit van, or would it be better to get an F-250 with a truck bed camper that you put in it that pops up? Oh, so many choices. See what my wife wants when she's older, what comfort she needs. I don't know if she would have enjoyed last night. It was pretty cold. I slept in two jackets. So when we get to Tillamook, I want to take the detour, um, follow the coast. I was going to go to the Tillamook cheese factory, but I don't have time for that. And my wife wants to go there. We will come back to that. So.
Oh my gosh, they have had a bunch of yurts in the one loop here. In one quarter of a mile, turn right. In 500 feet, turn right. I just disconnected the my inverter I'm trying to figure out what's making a noise and I think it's the inverter fan which is fine turn right I was worried it was my laptop fan going out ah so this is the way I should have came in feet turn left oh there's a trail like I wonder if it goes to town Wow, this is an awesome park. All right, it's definitely the inverter making the noise. Turn left. Wow, they have beach access. There's a little airport here. Proceed one and three quarter miles. Yeah, this is this is one of the best state parks I've been to in a while. Could be one of my top five all-time state parks I've ever found. It's just really neat. Wow. so cold this morning I did not want to get up so I did some stuff on my tablet and laptop uh, trying to get the camera level I figured I came in on the wrong road because I didn't see a sign or nothing and I just passed the entrance sign. This is a neat town. There are some really awesome houses here and they're landscaping. So this will be, this video will go to Tillamook and we will restart it then. That guy's got a long walk if he walked from the campground. Jeez. Brave man. Wow, this is... Yeah, I'm looking off to the left. The houses are just like brand new houses. This is some...
mile turn right. Yeah, it's definitely the, it's the inverter phantom here. It just kicked into higher gear. Whoa, this is a weird intersection. Jeez. In one quarter of a mile, turn right to US 101. to US 101. All right, made it to US 101. Oh, and there's the big sign on the highway for Nahalem Bay State Park. And how long is it going to take me to turn in here? Oh, Tillamook. 26 miles, I am wrong. So I'm not sure where we will end this video. Coast is on par with the Florida In coast. 500 feet, turn right to 7th Street. If you had to pick two coasts to go to, I don't think you could find two better. Turn right to 7th Street. Oh, this is a very old town. Wow. Not much here. Looks very historic though. So it is 42 degrees right now. 